Hello there children, and welcome to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I'm not wearing my usual armor today. Yes, I still have my badass cowboy hat, but I am wearing some other stuff, because I'm going to do the stupid Powder Stone mission. I hate this so much. So what is this armor I'm wearing? It is the Lock Lack armor, which consists of three pieces, but it gives you several useful skills for transporting stuff. Also, this is the first time I'm going to the volcano. So yeah, nice. So it looks alright. Oh damn, pretty cool lava graphics. Doesn't look all that bad. <sighs> volcano, my... It's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool area. Alright, map, uh, dung bomb, cool drink, first aid med, nutrients do I need? Actually, I kind of do need nutrients. I'll just take pretty much everything. Alright, slap on some increased health. Because you are going to need it for this. And rations, increase the stamina to maximum because you are also going to need that for this. I have to fill up the remaining little health thingy. Take a nap. Also, I'm bringing the Royal Ludroth Longsword for reasons beyond me completely. We're not here to fight monsters anyway, we're just here to carry stuff. Alright, let's do this. So, as you can see, the volcano has a fair amount of areas. And cool drinks are pretty much a must here. In areas 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, without cool drinks, you will lose a lot of your health hella fast. Also, you can find a lot of, well, not so much good bugs, but you can, if you bring pickaxes to the volcano, you will always get some good stuff. Because there are so many mining spots in this place. Also, no, I'm not going to kill you, Alteroth, don't bother me. So this is four, this is three. It's a small little area. And I'll show off one. Or, you know what? No, we'll show that on my way back to the base camp. Uh, there should be a mining spot here somewhere. I know there's one in Area 3, but it pretty much spawns all over the place. Oh well. Go into Area 5, where we need cool drinks. Because if you don't, your health is going to be decreasing very... Well, not really that fast, but it can cost you in the long run. And... Oh, mining spots. And apparently there's two of them right here spawned into each other. That's sort of unusual. But whatever. Here you can get Dragonite ore. No, it's not related to the aptly named Pokemon. At least I don't think so. But you can also get a lot of armor spheres here and Macalite ore is pretty common here and you need that for a lot of stuff. Ooh, Aqua Glow Jewel. Don't care. Yeah, what else? Crap, my pickaxe broke. And a Firestone. Again, no relation to Pokemon. It does not evolve your Eevee. Well, you're the Silver Cricket because it's only a stupid account item. And yes, Rhinoplos live in the volcano as well. So because they're not just desert dwellers, they also can endure the extreme heat that this place has to offer. And uh, there should be mining spots around here somewhere. There's supposed to be like a whole bunch of them in this area. Oh well. Over to Area 7. Well, there's also a lot of lava and a new creature. These are pretty much the exact same as Ludroths. They're called Eurocdors. They're only here in the volcano. And they can dig. Sorta. They're usually stuck in the ground in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, they pretty much look like a Ludroth somewhat. They move the exact same. And you can carve Eurocdor scales from them. Get rid of the insect husk, because I don't need that. And hell, the Eurocter skills might actually be useful for something. Because I do think you need a couple of those to make another monster's armor, maybe weapons. Because like the Ludroth, the Eurocter is only the juvenile form of a much bigger and much more dangerous creature. And also one of the last new monsters that you fight, in low rank offline at least, before the final boss of lower rank offline. At least I think it is. I know it used to be in Try. 
but I'm not sure if that still goes in this game. Also, area 8. There's a half-eaten cadaver here. Looks kind of gross. Also, some kitty cats. So, kitty cats like it in this place as well. And another mining spot. What can we get from this one? Iron ore, really? Oh well. No, I don't want iron ore. I have plenty. I don't want that either. Stupid crappy jewels. Jesus, give me something I... Okay, fine, get rid of the worm. Because worms are even more useless than iron ore. And a dragonite. Alright. Now on to the real mining extravaganza, Area 9. Area 9 is not suitable for monster fights, because it's basically just this really narrow walkway. So don't worry about monsters in here. And don't worry about all that exploding lava in there either. It's not dangerous, it just looks really, really cool. Yes, yes, armor spheres. Ooh, mystery charm. I will take that. Get rid of the iron ore. Just watch me get nothing but iron ore right now. Oh, but at least this place is good for my Macalite ore supplies. And also, here's the crazy old guy if you want to talk to him. But my bag's full, so it's not going to be any good. Now, what does this give me? More Dragonite ore, always good. Armor spheres, I guess those are okay as well. Earth crystals, you really need a lot of those. So it's a good thing I'm getting a lot of them right now. And another Dragonite ore. Armor Sphere Plus. That's more up my alley. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Um, ah. Pretty sure I have plenty of those already anyway. Dragonite Ore. And... Uh, knew it. This one pretty much gives you iron... Oh, coal. It's an account item, so don't even bother with that. Now, Area 10, which is where you want to be for this quest. Where the Powder Stones come from. Eh, I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be so annoying. Alright, first kill all the rock doors in here, just for safety. Also, because then I can just mine this place in peace. Ooh, nice rock for scale. I'll take that. And... Crap! Too slow. So yeah, they can bury through the molten rock like it's water. Pretty sure that's not how lava works. Also, I'm not sure that there's anything in nature that can even withstand lava's temperatures, and yet pretty much every creature that shows up in the freaking volcano can walk in it. So yeah, that's kind of weird. But whatever. We just want to carve the other guy, you rocked or just... Let me carve your sister. I don't know. Probably not mother, though, because your rock doors are, only, are always juveniles. Ooh, dragon fell berry. I thought they got rid of all the uh, the blight-curing berries and just replaced them with the null berry. For, like, one berry for all blights. So what does the dragon fell berry even do in this game? Does it, does it cure dragon bite exclusively? Crap. Look at your rock doors, man. So annoying die. Oh, he's dead. Alright. So, they do kind of look like a Logiacris, I suppose. Like, really small and red ones with a funny-shaped beak. Alright, give me something good from this. Not iron ore. Damn it. Alright, another mining spot over here, and that's pretty much the last one in this area. No aqua go jewels. Don't want those. Not coal either. Ah, uh, so much stupid shit. Also, why didn't I just cut this out? Because, honestly, it's not that interesting. Oh well, time to get to the meat of the business. Oh. That's just splendid. Lovely. Okay, I have to get rid of something. Um... What can go? The armor spheres, I guess. Don't need those anyway. Alright, powder stone. That's extremely hot, and it drains your health while you're carrying it. So, yeah, that's gonna suck. Alright, let's see if this works. I remember this working. 
Oh, crap. Well, that's really bad. For one, I just wasted a lot of time. And two, that is one of the volcano's monsters, the Uragan. Yes, it has a funny-shaped chin. Yes, it looks like TV comedian Jay Leno. Which, I guess, is why many people call him that. Personally, I don't really see the resemblance. Probably because I'm not an American. That's why I don't really know about Jay Leno. Also, Cool Drink wore off. That's bad. You don't want that to happen in this place. Especially not in this mission. So, yeah, that's gonna blow. Freaking gotta c carry the freaking powder stones out of there with the Uragan walking around. It's gonna be awful. Yeah, well. So, go back to Area 10. I'm, I really thought you could just jump off that ledge and just take the shortcut like that. But apparently not. I thought the uh, Lock Lack armor gave you the armor skill that could do that, like Pro Transporter. But I guess not. So that really screwed me over. Oh well, I grabbed the stone, so I have to go through 9 and 8, and then either 7, 4, 2, or 5, 3, 1. Lovely. And it's going to be draining my health the entire time. Maybe I should have just taken a max potion or something. Because the longer your health bar is, the easier it is for this. Crap. I thought I was going to break there after I did that jump. Oh, jeez. Because these things are really volatile. If you get attacked by a monster, it breaks. If a big monster roars and you're caught in that roar, it breaks. It tends to break when pretty much anything happens to you. Also, when the cats hit you, it breaks. Or at least you drop it and then it explodes or something. So this is bad. Also, what really helps for this mission is if you bring dash juices. You can uh, get those from... Combining dash extracts that you get from Royal Ludroths with something else. And then you can... Ah, shit. Fuck me, how am I going to get this thing past him? Oh wait, wait, he's leaving, I think. Are you leaving? Come on. Go away. No one likes you. Oh shit. Oh shit, now we done it. Run, run, run. He's not going to get me. Oh motherfucker. Son of a bitch. <sighs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I hate this mission so much. Alright, that's it, I'm taking a max potion. As soon as I get clear of this bastard. Because I did not upgrade this armor very much, because it's not going to be used for fighting, so I cannot take a hit from that guy. Especially because he hits like a truck all by himself. See, that's what he does. Oh, jeez. He can uh, kind of curl up and roll, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Also, he can put sleeping gas on you so he can put you to sleep just like the baggies can and that's again lovely and again, although I don't really hate fighting the year again because I don't think he's that hard especially because by the time I get around to actually doing quests that are for fighting him I pretty much have the perfect armor set for it because if you have an armor that gives you tremor resistance, you can really deal with him quite easily. Because he tends to create like shock waves on the ground which stun you. Tremor resistance just throws that out of the window. So pretty much you grab Urgan by his big rocky balls. Squeeze him a little, make him crumble. With tremor resistance, you kind of just lop the balls clean off. I know I already used that speech for Giganox, but I liked it so much I wanted to use it again. Yeah, sue me. Alright. Take two! Yes, it's extremely hot, we know. At least now my health bar is a lot longer. I paintball the year again so we can see where the hell it is. So it's not gonna be surprising me again, stupid. Motherfucking rock dragon thing. Oh well. Well, I guess if you would want access to the year again's armor and weapons, you could use this mission to farm him for it. Because I'm pretty sure he can be killed. Because it's not like he always appears in this. I think it is an unstable mission. So sometimes a big monster so shows up. Sometimes they don't. I guess I'm just really unlucky like that. 
But we won't be getting access to Yurgan quests for quite a while, so if you want his armor early, go ahead and go to town on him on this mission. If you think you can take him with your gear that you have at this level. Because he is pre pretty well armored, so if, you wep if your weapons don't have decent sharpness, they're gonna bounce all over the place. They're gonna bounce more than a pair of real boobs on a trampoline. Not fake boobs. Fake boobs don't bounce. There we go, kids. You learn something new every day. How educational is this channel? Mommy General Zagira just taught me about fake boobs. Don't go, don't go around saying that to your mommy, though. Just because uh, you don't want to freak your mommy out, probably. Just don't. Anyway, I'm good here because the Uragan will pretty much never go to this place. Uh, Uragan's range. It pretty much goes to 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's about it. Uh, he goes to 4 because that's where he eats. What does the Uragan eat? He eats rocks. Yes, rocks. I'm not really sure where the nutrition is in that. Or how rocks can help him get so big because... Let's face it, nutritional values and all that stuff are what makes animals big from what they eat. And I'm pretty sure that rocks don't exactly contain much stuff that allow you to grow. So, yeah. Sleep in the bed, heal right up. And we still have one more fucking powder stone to go. Son of a bitch. Hate this mission so much. I hope you can have see why I was dreading to have to do this. It's just so bad. It's even worse than the Wyvern Egg missions. Because yes, those are annoying because you have to carry something and there's big dragons trying to kill you. But this one's even worse because the thing you're carrying is trying to kill you. Just for the heck of it. No, don't bite me, you asshole. Fine, if I must smash you, then so be it. And let's do this. I want to go through seven because I want to mess with the Uragan a little. Just for the sake of it. Because he's an asshole that blew up my first powder stone. Technically second because the one that I dropped while jumping from that ledge was first. But whatever. Run like hell, cowboy man. So you're still wearing the roggy head and arms because the lock like armor consists of only three pieces. Which I guess is nice, makes it easier to uh, to make. Because you don't have to invest that much money or resources into it. So he's gonna walk back to Area 10. Slowly. <sighs> this mission. I hate it so much. But it shouldn't take that much longer. I mean, it's only a 23 minute video. And it took me f only 15 minutes to get the first powder stone in. Though I guess I could also blame that on like the first 7 minutes of mining. Oh well. I have to show off the volcano to you guys, don't I? Show you where all the important stuff is. I did that now. At least I don't have to show a harvest tour doing that like I did with the planned flooded forest thing that I cut out luckily. Which did result in like a 5 minute episode, but whatever. Alright. Let's do this. Yes, power is extremely hot. Lovely. And yet we can put it in a wooden box and that goes perfectly well. Nothing happens, the box doesn't spontaneously combust or anything. Also, damn that view. Such lovely scenery. Look at all that lava. Seriously, could you even walk here without being boiled alive? No wonder you need cool drinks. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, just like, just when things couldn't get any worse. Because if I stop to ingest a cool drink now, I will have to drop the powder stone. Because otherwise you could just heal off the damage and there wouldn't really be any point to it. So they made it so that you drop big items whenever you take a small item. So now I'm going to be losing health from not only the heat, or not only the powder stone, but also the heat. Splendid. And it's really starting to add up. Uh, and the fucking year again just went to area 5. Motherfucker, motherfucker. I hate this quest so much. 
I hope you can hear the pain and anguish in my voice as I'm narrating this. So, yeah, there goes almost half of my health already. Just from areas 9 and 8. While I only have to go through area 7, and then my health won't be decreasing as much anymore. So, yeah, this is really a race against time. I used to watch that big rocky asshole roll his way back into this place right now. Also, really stupid of me that I forgot dash juices, because then you can just keep running indefinitely. Instead of having to walk slowly until your stamina bar refills. Also, you rock doors, please don't fuck this up, or I will fuck you up so bad that your children are gonna feel it. Come on, almost there. Almost there. At least I do know how to make an exciting episode, don't I? Will I make it? Will I die before I get to the base camp? Stay tuned. One more General Securus Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Let's Play. So exciting, it's like a Saturday morning cartoon. With weekly cliffhangers. Except this ain't really weekly, it's more like whenever the fuck I feel like making an episode. Uh, am I gonna make it? If the Renoplos don't screw me over. If you want a Renoplos, be nice. I've never done anything to you or your kind. Except in trial, where I committed Renoplos genocide to make your armor so I could fight the Baroth on equal, to equal grounds, whatever. Anyway, don't worry, I'm gonna make it. And there we go. We're done. Ah, jeez. This mission was so bad. It took way longer than it had to as well because of the freaking Uragan screwed me over. And for some reason I really thought you could just jump down the ledge from area 10 and go to and go straight to 5. What the hell was up with that anyway? I'm pretty sure you could do that. Maybe they changed it from try, I don't know. But whatever. We're done. I'm never doing this mission again because it fucking sucks. Pretty sure the rewards aren't even that great either. We're about to find out. Nope, oh, just a whole bunch of Dragonite ores, some Earth Crystals, some other negligible stuff. And a really bad, uh, really bad charm. Current resistance plus two, you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, now that that's done, what are we gonna do next? There was a capture a long Icarus mission, maybe that was probably the only thing we had. Oh, they want to talk to me again? Someone might have a beater. Oh yeah, where, where was Cha-Cha? I didn't even see him anyway. Where'd he go? Also, talking about a Durambaros, which is a completely new monster. Lovely. So I guess that's what we're going to be fighting next. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's going to be great. Alright, wench, what do you want? Yeah, why, why the hell did Cha-Cha leave? Where did he even go? Pretty sure he didn't leave and try. No, the guild wants me to hunt the Durambaros. Whatever you do, don't let it crush you. That's some great advice. We've got a hot tip. Sir so Partin, your little buddy. He's in the same area as the frickin' Durambaros. Really, Cha-Cha, what the hell are you thinking? Gonna take on a frickin' Durambaros by yourself? Anyway, Durambaros, gigantic beast with a big ass freaking hammer tail. It's a pain to fight. It's gonna be a good episode though. So thanks for watching, see you guys next time, bye bye.